Uh, today we're going to head up to Rockwell Ducati on the R1, meet up with some of our friends and some of the friends we haven't seen in quite a while. Check out all the new bikes up there and it's always something unpredictable. Now the weatherman says we're going to be in the 60s by lunchtime. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. We got to prep up the R1, get it ready and make sure we are ready for a day of exciting riding. That is the last model they ever made without traction control. It's an exciting bike to ride. Always fun. Now today's pre-flight includes lubing the chain. Now keeping the chain lubed and keeping everything in tip-top shape, the tires. We're ready for a tire change here on the rear tire. I think we're going to get one or two more rides out of this, but we already got the tire. We already have a Pirelli Angel. Now the trouble with the Michelin 2's that I've had is they don't really last that long. I have not been getting good mileage out of them. So, and I don't have a Michelin 5 for this, but I do have the Pirelli Angel in a 190. So that's going to be one of the next things is to swap out the tire. But today we want to ride. It's a rideable day. Now I never want to ride any bike without checking the tires. Checking that the chain is adjusted and that we got oil. We are good to go here, and it's promising to be a really nice day. And as the weather changes, I just think it's really important to keep these right exactly where I want them. Now, because we've just entered the beginning of the bug season, and you're keeping that face shield clean with that Michelle stuff cola, and keeping plenty of Meguiar spray wax on the bike, just you can't you can't wax the bike enough. Being able to get those bugs off at the end of the day without making it a nightmare. And we are ready, finally, to hit the open road. One more cup of coffee, one more final check of the weather, and let's hope this is going to be a, just a beautiful day as the weatherman predicted. And before I head out, I just wanted to show Karen's little uh, garden has started. She basically has uh, 200 plants here, one way or another. And a couple of days from now, we're going to start seeing how these things are coming up. Basically all vegetables, too. Well, it looks like we got early in the morning, we got the usual suspects. Never seems to change. Handsome Jerry, Scooter Bill, <laughs> the dump truck driver, and <laughs> his, his eminence. It's a nice looking bike. Is that the one from Patterson? I think so, but I'm not sure. I gotta ask him. He beat me up here today. He rides a lot faster than I do. 
And he's got more money. That's the part that hurts. <laughs> and more hair. And more hair. <laughs> Urinal. Hey, you beat me up here, huh? Oh man, he rides so fast, it's unbelievable. That is absolutely needs more accessories, doesn't it? I hate these guys that ride a totally stock bike. Guys should spend a few bucks on accessories. <laughs> is there anything stock on a whole bike? Hey, is there anything stock on a whole bike? Yeah. What? The BMW with a gas cap? No, you even got a different gas cap. No, no, Holy mackerel. The wheels are nice. Yeah, they're nice. The whole bike is nice. Yeah, beautiful bike. I asked him, give me the key. I'll, I'll stuff those tires in for him. He don't want to know about it. Look at the welding on this exhaust. Yeah. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Wow. Nice. Really nice. Look at, a, look at a beautiful anodizing and everything. That's some, yeah, some piece of work, baby. It is a nice bike. Super nice. All right, so you're getting ready to head out? You're heading back to the, to the farm? This thing's still running good? Oh, it's like a brand new. Like brand new. How many miles did it have on it when you got it? Uh, 10,000. I got 11. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks nice. It's wicked fast. Yeah, nice. It's a ninja. How bad can it be? Where are you going to go? Back through the park? You going back through the park? I'm going to go up north a little bit. Now this is one of many ninjas, it's one of many bikes that Luciano did a nice restoration on. And his specialty is getting these bikes when they're uh, not in exactly prime condition. And spending a little time and a lot of money and a lot of elbow grease getting them to look real nice and run perfect. And sometimes he flips them and uh, triples his money. Sometimes he doesn't flip them at all. He just hides them in the back garage so nobody else knows he's got them. But they, this is his thing in life. He loves, he loves doing this to old motorcycles. This has carbs, no fuel injection. No, I can't do it. Okay. Alright, I'll catch up with you later, baby. Anyway, that is a nice clean ninja he got. Oh, what a beautiful day this is turning out to be. Wow. He's having fun. Does Donnie still have that little monkey? Oh yeah. Boy, this turned out to be some beautiful day. Looks like Jose is gonna buy a triple. Wow, I can't wait. Maybe he'll let me test ride it. <laughs> no, he seriously is looking at a triple with the bags, the one that has the bags and everything. Oh, it just couldn't be nicer weather-wise. The ride home is going to be beautiful. I'm sure it's going to be beautiful. We are in the just coming up on the nicest part of the year here. I'm not sure it could be any better than this. Pokey's Goozy, boy does he love this Goozy. Loves it like a man loves a dump truck. Jerry's Triumph, one of the cleanest ones around. And he is the cleanest one. He usually has his matching white leathers by this time of year. He's still in black, men in black.
I wanted to ask the owner if this was the stock exhaust or an aftermarket one. I know Joe, Joe Roselli has his aftermarket that really sounds great. I didn't get to hear this run, though. They were working on it. Oh, it just turned out to be such a nice day today. Just couldn't be any nicer than this. Beautiful day. And there's always a couple of bikes we haven't seen in detail, or not seen in a long time. Today was no exception. And then we always have the usual suspects, the usually 18, 20 people out of there. It's a nice mix. Peter! What you doing? Don't block me in! No, Come on, park it! Parking for Buicks only! Oh, <laughs> well, they're gonna take you a half hour to park? You could park right where the, where the big guys I'm park. Leaving, I'm leaving. Oh, you chased Jerry out of the parking lot. <laughs> Let him out! Let him out of jail! Always with the latest technology. That's a valve adjuster for a Ducati, huh? <laughs> oh, man. You know, I got to figure a way to carry the battery booster more conveniently. I carry a battery booster. It doesn't fit in my box. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. I got to put it on top of my helmet or something. All right, come on. That's the cleanest Triumph. Michelle is jealous. She said, your Triumph's cleaner than hers. I don't know if that's true or not. So today, Jerry got the cleanest Triumph Award. There were some other triples there, but but he always has the cleanest bike. I think, I think he's a fanatic. And running lights. You need more crap on the back of the bike. Red lights and running lights. I've seen spaceships that have less reflective area. I got them at AutoZone. <laughs> AutoZone this Don't drag your feet all the way down the road, Jerry. <laughs> I can't get used to seeing them with black leathers. You need the white leathers. Really nice Aprilla that we've seen in the past, but it really is nice and clean, and I love the wheels. The wheels on this, not sure you see it in the video, but they are really a nice color gold, really. I And I know, mixing gold paint, one of the things I do best. This is the bike you're gonna buy, the triple? Now, what is it, an FJ? FJ09. An 09? Yeah. And it's a triple? Yeah. Oh, did you ride it already? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. You like it? Well, you should have Luciano negotiate the price. He'll get it down to five hundred no, okay. by the weekend. I don't want to mess it. <laughs> How nice! You can watch windy videos while you're having your coffee. How bad is that? Windy. Yeah. I know. They tickle each other's feet. <laughs> That there's me in the video. How hey, did I shoot this video? How'd you get that up there? Oh, there's, there's Ron. Look, yeah, oh there's, my god. There's, there's Ron, uh, what's his name? I'm famous. I'm on television at oh, Perry's. No. <laughs> you shoe polish, you shoe. Huh? All white here. You typed Bob Navola on this video. Where's Bob Navola? Back it up. Back it up. You know who's here? You know how to work a video camera? Oh no. No, that's me. Go to Bob Navola. Who's where? Upstairs? Maybe. There's Bob right there with Mark Morgan. Oh, you can't see it when you put it on stop. Hey, tell them I'm here, okay? Bob, we miss you, baby. I'm so glad we got all these videos. That's Chris. Chris is on this video, too. Finally, she shows up. Yay! We were all talking about you. Drug rehab got out early today. You got to film my CPR.
Oh, that's pretty. I like that. That was my pride and joy. I had now, what did you do? You sold this one? Yeah, it's, that's a 96. I sold it in 98. And what about the gray one you have now? That's, that, there. that's the one you got, right? Okay, so you gotta, cool. You got to put it on your video. You're famous. You're on my video anyway. That's a nice paint job, yeah. That's stock. Nice. That's, that was Very stock. nice. This yeah. was the, uh, the Smoke and Joe Racing Edition. So another great day at Rockwell comes to an end. Then we're gonna head home to the farm. Kids are actually moving today, so we gotta do some moving this afternoon, among other things. Now, by the time the ride back uh, was over, the weather had warmed up pretty nice. It was actually turned into a reasonably nice day. It was a little chilly in the morning. One of my future projects for sure is going to be to get a quick shifter for this bike. It's after having that MT-09, I'm totally spoiled. I wish I had a quick shifter on the R1. We are officially now in the bug season and at the end of every day now it's going to be <laughs> a debugging the bike even up all on the front here and you got to get all the bugs out of the scoops and everything a lot of work but somebody's got to do it now by the end of the day i had to get rid of the sound on some of these scenes because what happened is the wind was blowing and that kodak camera well the wind noise in there is just terrible but I hope you did enjoy sharing the day with us, sharing the ride, and hanging out with our friends up at Perry's. Have a good day. Hey, you don't see it. At first, you get out of the season where you have to wipe all the salt off the bike. That goes away. And we had a couple of nice rides where we didn't have to do much. And, and it's starting today. It's the debugging season. And if you only knew how many bugs were inside the scoops and inside by the radiator and on the face shield and oh my god it's it's even on the back wheel there were bugs i don't where do these bugs all come from mother nature i guess is punishing us oh but when you get out on the open road 
that after a long, long cold winter. Today warmed up in the afternoon. It got so nice. The R1 is always fun to ride without traction control, and you're always wondering what's going to happen next with that bike. And we had a great Valentine save. I'm pretty sure I have it on video that uh, we, we would have definitely been in big trouble without that Valentine. And that Route 293, that's usually not heavily enforced. So that was kind of new there, but yeah, I don't know. And 17 North uh, is another road that's, I got, I actually had two of them today. I think I got one on video. But if you don't have a radar detector, boy, you, you're playing high risk poker with no aces. That's for sure. And thanks so much for watching. Come join us at Perry's.